My name is Professor Ilani Streja, and I'm an assistant professor of medicine and public health at UC Irvine. Our research article titled Pre-Dialysis Kidney Function and its Rate of Decline Predict Mortality and Hospitalizations After Starting Dialysis will be appearing in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. As background, several recent studies have separately shown worse outcomes with earlier transition, meaning higher EGFR at transition to end-stage renal disease, or steep change in EGFR, meaning faster progression of kidney function decline in the year prior to transition. We sought to examine if the combination of slower kidney disease progression and lower kidney function level at transition is associated with better immediate post-ESRD outcomes. In a cohort of 19,985 U.S. veteran patients transitioning to end-stage renal disease between 2007 to 2014, we examined the association of kidney function and its slope over the year prior to end-stage renal disease transition with post-transition outcomes. Two categories of low versus high EGFR dichotomized at 10 mL per min per 1.73 meter square and slow versus fast slope dichotomized at a decline of 10 mL per min per 1.73 meters squared per year were combined into four exposure groups. Their associations with 12-month post-ESRD all-cause and cardiovascular mortality with adjustment for clinical characteristics and other laboratory measurements at transition were examined. Compared to patients with low EGFR at transition and slow slope in the year pre-ESRD, Patients with a high EGFR and fast slope had the highest risk of both all-cause and cardiovascular mortality. In addition, we calculated percentile ranks for EGFR and slope respectively. A low percentile would represent a lower EGFR or slower slope, and a higher percentile would represent a higher EGFR or faster slope. These percentiles were summed together, EGFR percentile plus slope percentile or subtracted from each other, EGFR percentile minus slope percentile, and their respective association with all-cause mortality was evaluated using restricted cubic splines. In some ranked analysis, there was a linear association with 12-month all-cause mortality after full adjustment where patients with a low EGFR and slow slope had the lowest risks for mortality. When examining the difference in percentile ranks, we observed a U-shaped association with 12-month all-cause mortality. Patients with either a low EGFR and fast slope or high EGFR and slow slope had the highest adjusted risks of all-cause mortality compared with a reference of zero. To account for characteristic differences, we calculated propensity scores of high or low EGFR at transition to ESRD. After matching a propensity score, we observed that higher EGFR was associated with approximately 30% higher risk of 12-month all-cause mortality among matched patients. Likewise, we calculated propensity scores of transitioning to ESRD with a slow or fast EGFR slope. In this matched cohort, a faster slope was associated with a higher risk of all-cause mortality. Finally, we examined the relationship of the four EGFR and slope exposure groups with 12-month hospitalization incidence rate. In all adjustments, we observed that a low EGFR and slow slope was associated with a lower hospitalization incident rate. Similar to mortality analyses, patients with an aggressive disease profile had the highest 12-month hospitalization rate after full adjustment. We observed that in veteran patients transitioning to ESRD, transitioning with a low EGFR and slow slope was associated with a lower risk of 12-month mortality and hospitalization, and this relationship was independent of laboratory markers and comorbidities. This relationship remained consistent across numerous sensitivity analyses. Together, these results further support the notion that an early transition to dialysis may not be as beneficial as once thought, and additional studies are warranted to clarify this relationship. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. 
There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.